Roman Reigns' head sculpt is pretty much on point. It looks like a miniature Roman Reigns. It's a very cute looking figure. Unfortunately, there's not much detail in the shield. You can see the detailed comparisons to a real life photograph that looks like they used that shield design and color, which is white rather than a gold. He has all different types of color schemes he uses for his logos, but we obviously know this is still going to be Roman Reigns. There is a nice amount of detailing on the shield itself. Nice little weave patterning makes it look like a tactical real life shield, which it is in real life, as well as a nice belt. It has elbow pads, his wristband, his Superman punch glove, as well as his tattoos. They're really well detailed. And on the bottom, you get your pegs to put in a stand, as well as circle cutouts for balancing. Articulation-wise, Roman Reigns has head movement, and his hair is made of a softer rubber, but not too soft. It's still pretty hard. And he has more head articulation than, say, Kevin Owens. He has a hard plastic body, just like the rest of the good old Hasbro figures. He has his left arm can go up and down. And of course, his right arm is the action feature. He has a 360 torso. And his legs, of course, don't move. One thing about Roman with this little like harder rubber hair, you can see the seam there where it was glued in to the head sculpt. And having separate hair allows the head to articulate back and forth. And it is a longer haircut than say, Sid Justice here, which does have a 360 head, but he has a lot shorter haircut. You can see there the line for the head articulation. And here is Bret Hart, and he has his long hair glued onto the body. So the chest and the traps there completely glued on and no articulation. So it's a really great job by Mattel to do that for the engineering of Roman Reigns. Good job, Mattel. You have glossy paints and the hard plastic for all the black parts of his attire, especially the pants here, very shiny. Even though it is shiny, it's more of a matte finish and it feels like a uh, a very hard rubber feeling to the like arms and hands, even though it is still plastic. So very good construction, Mattel. So Roman Reigns has two signature moves, but he only has one included for his action figure here. Roman Reigns has the spear, which you can do still, and that's pretty awesome. And he also has the Superman punch, so he can, well, he, does, he can't do it for the figure, but he puts his hand on here, cranks it up, and you can actually crank it up yourself and push back on the fist to load and release to perform the move. So as I, there you go, I have big fingers. It's probably easier for kids, but this is really awesome, really great feature. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Roman Reigns, this figure is very, very cool. I'm gonna give him a thumbs up. Thanks guys very much for watching. End of line. I'm Brando, and I fight for the users. Thank you for choosing. See your face.